three and a half years and we do not have it together yet. We are still settling into this in such a big way. Joey and Natalie Romito have five children. Joey, his first marriage, he has three from his first marriage. It's a 15 year old, a 12 year old and a seven year old. And I came into the picture after being, um, I, was single, I was a single mom for nine years with, my, with um, my 13 year old daughter. She was nine when we got married. And then they have two and a half year old Josiah together. Baby, that's mine. That's, no, no, no. The couple admits being a blended family is challenging. For example, they had to combine Joey's love for the country with Natalie's love for the city. Me, I've always lived in the country, never lived in the city. Um, I like city life, but my kids weren't raised to, to be in a place where they couldn't go ride their four wheelers or go, couldn't go outside and just do basically whatever because we had enough, enough space that they could do whatever they wanted to. And that's the way I was when I grew up. That's one of the biggest, the biggest challenges is they're just the different dynamic from Natalie and Elise and then me and the other three because they, they didn't, I don't think they really understood the differences in, in upbringing and that's been a, a huge challenge. And financially, it's no cakewalk either, especially because Joey travels to Mississippi quite a bit to get his other three kids. Not only is it a financial burden, but it's a, it's stressful because um, you have to do you have certain times you have to be there. If you get stuck in traffic, then you're late, and then you wonder if they're going to understand you being late to pick them up. Um, you get over there to pick them up, and something happened, and you have to drive somewhere else and pick them up because they, their mom had to work late and you couldn't get them from their house. And it's, it's, a, it's a constant, it, it's, never, it's never a constant, it's always changing. Then of course there is the issue of not just two adults, but two parents coming into the relationship with said ideas. The challenge for me personally, my biggest challenge with that and something that I'm still really learning is to embrace um, his vision for, for our family and, um, and accepting it because I, I think being a single mom, I had to be mom and dad. I had, like, I had it figured out already. That makes the, the man, the husband, feel, first off, insignificant because you know, we were, we were designed to, I mean, it, it, God even speaks about it in Ephesians, to be the head of the house, to be, to be the head of the wife, but not over the wife, working side by side. And when you, when you feel like you say something or make a decision and it is, you're hitting a wall because your wife has it figured out already and it really makes you feel disrespected. Joey and Natalie are not alone. Most every couple goes through periods of doubt. Uh, overwhelming. Uh, I, uh, it That's is. I mean, uh, yeah, being married, you're already having to settle in with one another and each other just like becoming even familiar with one another and accepting of it and then growing yourself. It is just the most humbling thing I've ever experienced. Um, yeah, on top of that, the whole, you've got kids and you're dealing with them being raised different ways and then you have different ideas about how they need to be raised now. There have been, um, yeah, there have definitely been those moments where the enemy will throw those thoughts just right up there like what, what in the world, like God, how was this your purpose? The lowest moment was fairly recent. Um, actually, <laughs> yeah. just a few days ago. A few days ago. Um, I honestly didn't think I would see her again for a while. And just had a, just had a really humbling experience um, where I needed to change. 
because also even though even though God calls us to be the head of the house, he also calls us to love our wives as Christ loved the church. So I really had to learn what that meant. After a few days away, Natalie came back because she remembered they agreed before they ever got married to never get divorced. I know my God, and no matter what was going on in my head, um, and I knew, I knew what he called me to do as a wife, and I knew the decision I made when I married him, that I was gonna stay with him until, we, until, until death parted us. And knowing that God is faithful, and that no matter what I was gonna have to deal with, no matter, and I didn't know how in the world we were ever gonna get past it, but I knew that he knew. It was just holding on to that with all my heart. And Joey, too, had to reach out to God to pull him through. You can't even really pinpoint all of it, but just he just had to bring me to a place to where I knew what it meant to die to myself and live for my wife. Joey and Natalie say they are learning the couples on the front of magazines that look like they have the easy life with zero issues. Well, that's not realistic. It's just so dangerous to compare, but we just do it. It's human nature and we think, oh, they've just so got it together. Or gosh, their marriage is so wonderful. And what are we, you know, what's wrong with us? Or um, it happens all the time to me. And I'm on the verge of tears right now because I do, um, we've had some really hard times, you know, but we're, but we're here. I mean, we're here. I mean, we're working through it. We've decided no matter what, like no matter what, we are going to work through it and we know that we can, but sometimes I think that we can't. I really do think that a lot. Um, but God just is so quick to infuse hope and restoration. And sometimes it's just taking baby steps and admitting there is room for growth on both sides. I don't have really the experience of being um, married for a lengthy amount of time and um, really just, uh, like I said, it's humbling, but I promise I haven't humbled myself as much as I should have and I'm not where I need to be with that and I think that's a really big thing in my marriage because we have to be okay first before we can be what we're supposed to be for our kids. I'm still searching for that. And Natalie admits, as a mom, it's hard knowing the kids may never be as close as siblings that were born all under the same roof. They've known each other, they've grown up together, they've, so I think not having that and like so desperately just like longing for that, that unit, you know, that's like this. Yeah, um, in respect between them and love and considering one another above each other. Um, it's really hard for them to understand each other though because I, they just, they come from totally different places. And although it's not perfect, at the end of the day, this blended family chooses love and they choose each other, always. Natalie says if you find yourself struggling, know you are not alone and it will be okay. Her and Joey are proof. I totally know where you're at. <laughs> Completely understand that. Um, nothing is ever over. Never. Um, I would say um, just don't give up. And by far in marriage, even without being a blended family, just being married, period, just living life, period, you just can't do any of it alone. You've just got to let God in the middle.